Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use the DaVinci AI image generator. So let's get into it. The first thing we are going to do is jump into DaVinci.ai. You can use any one of the browsers of choice. You can see over here it is um, the home page. And right at the top right hand side there is a sign in and there is also a try for free now what you want to do is click one of these if you have an account of course you can go ahead and tap on sign in it'll ask you how you would like to sign in and you're going to just select the appropriate option and then from here you can just choose your account so once you've chosen your account it will prompt you if it's your first time logging in um, it will prompt you now to unlock their premium but if you scroll down, there is a continue button. All right. This will just allow you to use the free version. So you get three credits. All right. So this is how you use it right over here. You can see there is an inspiration button. So this will just help you create a prompt and you don't have to write that prompt yourself. You can also use third party apps um, to create prompts for you. I sometimes like to use third party prompts generators uh, such as ChatGPT to help me write uh, more detailed prompts. But for now, what we can do is we can just go a man standing in a forest at night. So what we're going to do now is we can change the style of the image generation. As you can see, each one of these offer some bit of example. So you can see that's more or less what it looks like. Okay, now not everything is available with the free package, but you can go through and see what is actually available. So you can see over here, let's go ahead and use this melting surreal. We can now also choose the model. So it's between the SDXL and mid journey. I'm going with the mid journey. And then of course the aspect ratio. Now um, it only offers the one by one, which is a square image for the free version and the rest are locked for the pro version. So what we want to go ahead and do now is tap on generate. Now this will take a few seconds to actually generate. And if we come down over here while that's generating, you can see that you can actually explore a bit of the artwork that they have already created. So you can go down here and you can actually use these prompts that you see. And you can also go ahead and you can customize these prompts. You can then also change the model as well as um, the look and the feel as we did previously the style and the ratio so as you can see here it was a very vague prompt however i did get a man in a forest and uh, they've added some extra detail here and my suggestion is always to go ahead and try and add as much detail as you can so for example you can type in here a man standing in a forest at night a close-up um, and you can type some other details over here. So as you can see, that is the basics of generating images with DaVinci. And um, the other way, as I said, is you can just go ahead, you can tap on the use this prompt and it's just copied it. And we're going to just go up here and we can just click three times, use control C to copy control V to paste. And you can see that it is pasted it in over here. Now, of course, you can add on to this. So it says scary black eyed children from urban legends. Um, and we can tap on generate. Now it'll generate these um, images as you have previously done over here. And again, you know, you can continue to use these prompts and you can actually go ahead and you can see that there are a few other options. All right, so let's see, our images are now generated. You can see these are the results. Now, what can you do with these images? Once you click on the image itself, you're able to open it up. You can save it to your favorites and you can also download it. Okay, so you're able to actually put it onto your device. You don't need the premium for that. There we go. The last way we're going to do it is the inspiration. And once you click on that, it just gives you a detailed um, prompt over here and you can go ahead and tap on generate. And now again, you can see it's going to generate these images. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, using that detailed prompt, these are the images that have been generated. Now, folks, if you want to learn more about AI, you can go ahead and explore our channel. We've got tons of awesome content. We'll see you over there. Peace out.